And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir LeBlanc, our last meme tier deck this week. We had meme tier Monday and now meme tier Tuesday today as since we had so many different meme tier decks to play. This one's pretty close though. This one should probably just, you know, this one could be a good ranked deck. Not all of our meme tier decks are going to be like that, but this one is one that you can definitely go play on over in ranked. Um, but uh, the person donated for it, uh, you know, preferred it over in normal. And I and so I think it'll do good over here too. So we, we have the Inner Sanctum, which is kind of making a little bit more meme tier with, with the reputation. It can cause zero, but then we get to create two Lucky Finds. And if we can have Lucky Find with Sivir, that can be pretty cool. We'll get those extra keywords on the Sivir. We're gonna have a lot of thing, uh, cards that are striking for five, because as you know, with the reputation, you need to uh, hit for five. So we got Trifarian Glory Seeker, LeBlanc, the Bakai Sand Spinner, Sivir, Ruin Runner, all these things hitting for five plus damage. They're also all five plus power. So Reckoning is going to be a really nice removal spell. But then we'll also have other removal spells like Bloody Business, Whirling Death. Those are more ways to strike. We got a couple of Might and a couple of Sharpened Resolves for some really good combat spells, especially how Might can finish out games. Early blockers with Doomkeeper and House Spider. Those are going to be our, our important things to have early on to not die to aggro. And uh, that's that's what we got. All right, so let's give it a try. We're going to go to play our five games in normal to have Inner Sanctum, Lucky, Sivir LeBlanc. All right. Ooh, we're playing all Shrima. This deck's going to have some fast games, which is, which is awesome. So, you know, like you like playing some fast games. That's what we're going to have here. What are our champions? Nasus Rennington. Okay, not Azir. No Azir. Alright, we'll get rid of one Glory Seeker. Glory Seeker is good, though, against both Azir and Nasus. But, of course, they don't have Azir, so... Like, if their champions were Azir and Nasus, I'm keeping both Glory Seekers. But, like, with one of them being... Or, sorry, sorry. If they're Azir Rennington, the three and the four mana ones, I'm keeping both Glory Seekers. But with them being four and six mana, we just don't have to have both glory seekers at that point. Because that's that's all this card is. This this card is like champion removal spell. Mervin with a tier one sub. Well got a brand new tier one sub. Thank you so much, Mervin. Y'all, get some hype in the chat for our brand new sub. Get those hype boats in there. Okay, so I... Uh, I want to play the Lucky Sanctum this turn. This is a perfect Lucky Sanctum turn, but I don't have, like, a Sivir or anything, like... Like, let's say we go L Lucky Sanctum. These Lucky Finds are fleeting, and so, like, next turn, if we don't draw a unit, I'll just have to, like, what, put them on a Glory Seeker or something? That's not what I want to do, so... I guess we're playing this Whisper Words... All right, so we would have had LeBlanc. LeBlanc would have been nice. No, no patch this week. There, patches I think are usually every other week. And there was a there was a balance patch last week. Time to make an appearance. We ride as one. Okay. Good card for them. And that's honestly why I should have just played Sand Sandspinner last turn, because by going with... Because if they just have, like, 6-6 six, six Renekton... Yeah, I should have gone with Sandspinner last turn, so that then this turn I could have played LeBlanc and Glory Seeker. Will never end, huh? Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. I was hoping by passing that they would play this last turn, and that then I would play Glory Seeker and be able to attack it and, and have different spells available. Chase them down. No surrender. That 
10-7 Rankton ain't big enough. Oh no! Oh, that quicksand! Oh, wow, what a card. Yep. Okay. Still got this thing out of here. Before it leveled up, it was at 10 out of 12. It was so close. He's with us, right? Rankton's awesome. That card's really good. We'll find out that is the... Who's with me? Okay. Humble yourself. Trying to keep this thing from leveling up. No, these quicksands. That was a top deck quicksand. They didn't have that last turn, obviously. Oh, that's too bad. If that would have worked, Rennington would not have leveled up. Oh. Oh, I'm one mana short. Okay, basically I want I want to see if they would play something else. I'm one mana short. Cause I need I need to might this and exhaust the Rennington and then Reckoning. Oh, I need one more mana. I mean, there's no way they play something else before combat, but I guess I don't have a choice. Victor Lux. That's a cool combination. I like that. You know, so Victor can make gets like the created spells. And, you know, spells are good for leveling up Lux and everything. Especially like the one mana spells can help things like Concerted Strike get to six. Alright, so we got the Doom Keeper. Let's look for our champions. There we go. Our deck has a lot of spells for a curve out deck. And the good part about that is whenever you're mulliganing, you can um, pretty pretty confidently mulligan away spells, knowing that there's a good chance that you're going to be drawing more. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. LeBlanc's a little, you know, like PNC has really good removal against LeBlanc, but I'm still just going to curve out and play it. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. you are mine. And yes, they can they get a free block here, but if they do that, they're not blocking the five. I think I'm okay with that. Maybe maybe I shouldn't be, maybe that's a bad attack. They take the you know, we traded that two one for another five damage here. So basically that one drop dealt nine damage to them. But they do still have this blocker where they'll still be able to save the five life later. A bit rough around the edges, aren't I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Ingenious. No materials, no improvements. Genius in action. Alright, so they got the spell shield, which is unfortunate. 
Business as usual. Because otherwise I was going to be exhausting. Not the egg. I think I... Okay, so if I go the Sharpened Resolve here, it puts him down to three. That doesn't sound bad. Especially when I have Ricochet. You would wait on it? You keep it for emergency? It is definitely the aggressive line. <laughs> That's a good Riven emote. If they get lifesteal, I'll be sad. Alright, Fury. Ooh, FEMA with the raid. All right, we, we're going to do the Sivers Ricochet. I don't know exactly where it's going to be going. What are we doing? Yes, of course. What? Did it... Is that it? Is that all that thing did? Man, that card's not good. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, streamer show. Yeah, it looks like it just only hit... It only hit the units, but still, it didn't even do any damage. It's just like, I guess all the damage happens at once. So, like, it just took out the, the barrier and then the, the spell shield. Alright, I want to open attack. Metal is perfection. Always forward. Hmm. I guess, wait, should they go the other way? So if I hit with this one first, then I can give all the other ones spell shield and quick attack. Let's just spell shield quick attack. By the time, like, they would already play their spells. So if I go this way, Sivir can attack for six instead of attacking for five. I won't stand by. Okay. Awesome. One and one. What do we got this time? Katarina Azir. Yeah. Yeah, we learned we learned about that ricochet card, right? Like that's what that's what it's about. It's about learning. I like these cards. Whirling Death is the one I'm thinking about mulliganing. I mean I guess we, actually we don't need exhaust. That can go. And then, yeah, you know what? Like I said at the beginning of the last game, we're going to find more spells. We can mulligan those. The Emperor commands the land obey. Tooth and claw. Always forward. Die, die. Our son. Okay, so we trade one drops and we get two damage in. If that happens, like, into eternity, just trade and we get damage in, that'll be good for us. Places to go, people to be. My name will echo through the ages. All right, five damage for LeBlanc. No going back. Great. 
Witness the void. Are you certain? So obvious. So this this would have LeBlanc die if they have the plus three plus ones. But oh, they have Blade's Edge. Wasted Never mind. That'd be dumb. The reason, uh, maybe I should just block with this one. I should be blocking with the one one. But the reason why I wanted to, yeah, they just kill that anyway. It's just a the reason why I wanted to do that was to level up LeBlanc, right? Of like, have it strike for five, strike for five. I'm going to try to have Glory Seeker kill Azir. Ah, they did have the shape stone. Alright, well. LeBlanc is leveled up, and of course getting like these other attacks help out our reputation for this whispered words. So that's definitely a reason to attack with LeBlanc besides just the whole uh, help it level up. So where are we at? So they're at 8 for Azir. So it's basically leveled. The cliffs themselves are my removal? Removal? Yeah, removal. Not good removal against Quicksand. <laughs> we learned that. That maybe I should get some of these spell shield things in play first before Quicksand. Let's play this first and just kind of see what happens. A Teak Tree! The Butcher With the sub. Welcome, A Teak Tree. Uh, I'm going to try it. Only two cards. Hopefully no quicksand. I'm gonna try it. Yay! All right, our eighth sub of the day. We're gonna have bonus games after this. Oh, they had the another Azir. Gross, and then that just levels up Azir right away. Hmm. There we go, Adam bringing in the hive. Thank you, Adam. Showing some love to our resub for 18 months, a year and a half. All right, so we'll go block, block, and block with this. So that will be four damage, so we'll get the mirror image card. Also, that will be leveled up Sivir. Was that lethal? No, it wasn't. Okay, good. <laughs> That's a big spider. The cliffs themselves are my barracks. All right, we got a zero out of here. We can go to 12. I don't know. Why am I not just blocking the 3 1? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> End of the day. <laughs> That's all I'll blame that on. What's up, fishies? With the 25 months. Thank you, fishies. Thanks for that resub. Still be good. And 
And there we go. Alright, two and one. This deck's pretty fun to play. Just Oh no, Targon. Alright, we're gonna have to attack for a bunch. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. I think we're gonna let's try Inner Sanctum Sivir. That sounds really fun. Um the yeah, let's let's try it. This thing be like removal afterwards. Let's try it. So basically right now it's me not playing anything the first couple of turns. Well there we go, there's a glory seeker. Have Glory Seeker try to kill Zoe. Which I know that definitely feels like overkill, but you know, we're talking about a really good champion here. Could go with the exhaust to keep the Glory Seeker alive. Which maybe I should be doing that, but I'm just saving the exhaust. All right, Inner Sanctum Sivir. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. Hmm. That is really, really bad for me to see. Man, that's bad for me to see. Because, obviously, I can't pass. Because if I pass priority, then we just lose these things. If I play Sivir, then they just go Pell Cascade and kill my Sivir. And then that's that's a waste also. Wow, that protege was good. Okay, good. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. Tough helps protect it. Overwhelm helps it deal damage. Okay, so we got both. Shape what you want without mercy. The thing is, like, these spell shield cards are really not good against barrier. That's what I've learned with, like, Sivir decks. They're really not good against barrier. And so, like, if they, if they do have barrier, you know, like, especially Repost, it's just, you know, real bad for me. Or even just Sharp Sight. Why? Like, I have Reckoning. Why am I even attacking? Dude, that's just a terrible attack. That's why I kind of re realized with that... I was just kind of thinking Pill Cascade, but that's just a terrible attack. I have, I'm sitting on Reckoning. Man, this, this protege, though. Yeah, I completely regret that attack. Because they had five mana. That just wasn't worth it. Alright, so I will be casting Reckoning here. So I guess they behold a dragon. Observe the price of ambition. That is a dragon. Their deck is good. Like they have a good good build here with like these different Demacia cards that people don't play that much. They have a good Zoe Ophelios build. They've also drawn quite well, but Protege you know, Protege very smart. I really wish I didn't throw away my... Yeah, I really, really wish I didn't throw away my uh, Sivir. 
if I didn't, they could have, you know, they, they still would have the two mana, they still would have the sharp sight, they could have saved their Aphelios from the Reckoning. Hurt that thing a little bit before that spell shield. Huh. Victory requires a sharp blade. Hopefully the plus two plus zero or plus one plus one. These are just all completely useless. Worth the ride. I mean, I know I have the might, but... So I can use the bloody business basically to save the 5-3. But I don't know if that's worth it. That doesn't really seem worth it. They just have too powerful of cards for me to, to use that on just having a 5-3. great hand though they like they have everything that they want like at the perfect timing right like they had zoe on turn one then you then you know, had like the good tutor i said that that protege was awesome really good combat tricks and they wanted the aphelios at the right time the eclipse dragon before the aurelian soul really exactly like the exact order of the like not only are these cards awesome but they also just had the exact order of what they wanted all the cards to have as well my desert my rule if I do this, and we go might, then bloody business, whirling death. It's like I take out all their stuff, but I'm left with nothing. Like, you have to kill a really soul, right? Because, like, a really soul just makes Celestials every single turn, right? Like, we can't, I can't beat a really soul, but I, I also just probably can't beat the four cards that they have in hand. Because we already know one is a really powerful Celestial card anyway. But we gotta try. Okay, so they have another Celestial card in hand. I guess they had two seven power. They had one seven plus mana, one from Aurelian Soul, and one from Star Shaping. And there's the other one. I don't know how that game would have turned out if I did not attack with the Sivir, but obviously that was a that was a bad play by me. But I don't I don't know if I don't know if that really cost me the game because of all the stuff they had. I I don't know, but it would have turned out better for me. That's for sure.
draws. Alright, back to Shirima. Both Azir and Nasus. Why do I always call that card Nasus? I always call Rennington Nasus. The other way around. Alright, Azir and Rennington. Alright, I'm going to keep a, rec a Reckoning. Reckoning could be awesome. Alright, sorry. Prediction going up now. So it's good to have the curve out with our 1 and 2 before the 3 and the 4. But if I do play House Spider, I won't be able to have Reckoning on 5. Do I want Reckoning on 5? Maybe not. I don't know. I kind of do. I could still have Reckoning on 5 if I don't play Sivir. If I only rely on LeBlanc. That levels up LeBlanc. The black rose once more. Stand down. Yeah, I think Mono Shirima is pretty good. I, I have a Mono Shirima deck that I like quite a bit. I call it, um, it's up on YouTube. I call it Ascended Sun Disc. I played played a decent amount off stream and stuff too. I, I like I really like it. Okay, so we're going to Business as usual. Do that, and there we go. Silver LeBlanc. Another rose for the garden. So there we go. There was Silver LeBlanc. Definitely some fun games there. Um, you know, get to do a lot of attacking. I, I like playing these kind of decks. I like playing these champions. Just like quick attack. Quick attack's a fun keyword. You get to attack in and not really worry about your stuff dying too much unless you attack into sharp sight <laughs> like a dummy like I did. <laughs> um, but Reckoning was really good for us. And uh, yeah, like, like having the spell shield and everything. Fun deck to play. Um, and you even get Inner Sanctum with the keywords, which can be pretty cool. So that's Sivir LeBlanc. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments if you've been playing Sivir LeBlanc as well. It's a kind of popular deck. And so if you're somebody who's been playing a bunch of Sivir LeBlanc, let me know how it's been going for you. Let me know if you're playing any other different cards that we're not playing that have been looking good. You know, anything like that. I'd like to hear about it. So leave those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Sivir LeBlanc. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.